Johnny Jankowski may be flipping flapjacks. You gotta hit that guy, and I hit this guy, see? But she is one cowgirl who doesn't believe a woman's place is in the kitchen. Johnny Jankowski believes a woman's place is here. Just look at what happened to Johnny the day before our 48 hours began. I just kept getting hit and getting hit and getting hit, and uh... But each hit I was going, well, you know, that one's not serious, that one's not too bad, you know, this one's not too bad, and, and uh, hey, you just hope it goes away, you don't panic, there's no room for panic. What do you think you found? Tried a little bit too hard. 34-year-old Johnny Jankowski is a former title holder. She's been riding bulls for 11 years, but not at Cheyenne until this year. After months of lobbying, Johnny convinced the Cheyenne Rodeo to allow her and three other women to compete in two events for exhibition. She's out to buck the stereotype that women don't belong in rodeo's tough events. Hi, dear. Is there anybody else in here? Yeah, a lot of people in here. Is there? Are they naked? We didn't break anything, though. Just, just take us through. We did, we did good. Um, all right. How do you feel? Horrible. No, I just... Real sore, sir? Yeah. Can you move your shoulder any better? Not very much. What did you do for it last night? Thanks. You did that? Perfect man. It's only been one day since Johnny was injured in that stomping. She's getting intense physical therapy. Now what we're doing? Johnny says she will ride again tomorrow on the final day of the women's exhibition. Hmm? Right there. All right, relax. All right, just work from here. All right, so yeah. I'm responsible for those girls being here, and, and that's something I believe in. It's something that I love. Uh, it's the competition. It's uh, it's girls that just love rodeo. They don't live and die rodeo but they live and die this, this opportunity to compete and to have this be a little bit of fantasy part of our lives. You think a lot more women would be in it if they had the opportunity? Oh, absolutely. I really think there would be, um, you know, financially it's, it's hopeless, you know. You gotta really love doing this or you're not gonna be doing it. I'm Fred Darvin. Howdy, Fred. Johnny Jankowski. Bull rider. I have to take my hat off if you're a bull rider. And part of doing it is playing to the crowd, no matter how much you're hurting. I read a great uh, article about you in the paper. Do you lift weights or anything to keep in condition? It just uh, made me proud to uh, want to meet you. Real yeah. bulls? Absolutely. These people show a lot more emotion toward us than they do for a male. I tell you, when she fell and she did not move, I was scared of it. And uh, when I got hurt out there, I think everybody just thought that their daughter got crushed. <laughs> and it was really important for me to jump up at that time and, and let the pressure off and say it's okay. What is it about riding bulls? Well, I don't know. Uh, I wish the heck I knew. Because if I could get it out of my system, I sure as heck could. But uh, was it love at first uh, throw? <laughs> it really kind of was. You know, and the first time I tried this, I really wish I had been just stomped on and, and hooked so bad I would have got it out of my system and never got adopted to the, the people and the lifestyle. This is awful. <laughs> Yeah, compared to what? Childhood. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing what I love to do. If I die tomorrow, I'd be happy. Yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Adios. Tomorrow, Johnny will try again to ride the bull. And, uh, I don't want it to make it look like I'm a martyr, I'm tough, or I'm crazy. It's just, uh, you know, I, I think I owe these people something. I told them I was going to come here and ride, and I'm going to come here and ride. It's 9.30 in the morning. Johnny Jankowski smiles through the parade, despite the pain in her injured shoulder. Soon she will try for the last time during this rodeo to ride a raging bull. You seem more tense than you were before. Oh, sure. Getting close. I want to get a little tense. I hate to go to climb on that guy like I'm going to church. <laughs> First time in 
52 years the lady's ever ridden the pool in Cheyenne Frontier Days. And you're responsible? And I'm responsible on it. <laughs> In between the preparation for the rides, there's been the near constant promotion of women in rodeo. Smile, smile. Got it. I've got these people here believing in not only me, but believing in the girls riding. I can't do this forever. There's just no way. But I want this opportunity to be there for the other girls to do it. Maybe they don't want to do it. Maybe not all the girls out there want to do this, but uh, the ones that do want to, I want it to be as good and as safe and as spectacular and uh, all heights of grandeur that it can be. I want them to have as good as it can get. How many years do you think you have left, realistically? Not many. Maybe one. Maybe two. Maybe none. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. That's why you got to give it all today. I get on each bull like it's my last The same person will ride a bull yet tear up during the national anthem. I guess because I'm out here doing what I want to do. And I can. <laughs> the title was for me. This is for everybody. And we're going to win. <laughs> we're going to be accepted. Uh, equal time, maybe equal money. Not quite freaks. Come on, you big pig. Stand up. Johnny is the first up of the four women riders. She must stay on for six seconds. She made it. It was great. Really, today I felt everybody was riding that bull, and uh, they just they just rode a bull for the first time in their life. <laughs> the next rider is Sally Montville, Johnny's roommate. She gets up and shakes it off. She says, I don't feel too bad. That's the first time I've ever been in Boston. Paramedics are standing by, and I believe Sally says, I'm going to try to get up, and it might be wise to remain right there. The paramedics are on their way. <laughs> Next up, the women bronc riders. As Jan Uren psychs herself, she has only one distraction, her daughter Anita in the next shoot.
By the end of the rodeo, three out of the four women riders are injured, though no one's complaining. Stuff, I had to give her mouth to mouth. I mean, punk rock. Yeah. You got one of those punk rock hairdos now. Little, little red streaks. Little red streaks. I knew you were Do you think from here on out it's going to be easier for women because of what happened this week? Well, I think it's going to be a lot easier. The guys, a lot of the guys, you know, are coming up to it and going, God, you know. They've seen what we've taken this week, you know, and uh, they're realizing we're not trying to steal a show. We just want to ride bulls. We want to ride bronze. Thank you.